I'm Jesse, and we have a really creative God. And he's made all kinds of amazing animals and places. One thing I really enjoy doing is drawing what God created. I'm Jesse. Let's get drawing. Welcome back. We're going to be drawing a city view today at night. So the first thing you want to do is you want to draw a few buildings. And that just looks something like this, these shapes here. And uh, make sure we put a few behind them, like so. And uh, we'll put another one here in front, a shorter one, something like this. Don't worry about the bottom here. We'll clean that up in a minute. Uh, just nice building-like shapes. You can even put a, an antenna on the top, pointing into space like that. Now, make sure you bring them out here and just really make them all different shapes and sizes. They're all different kinds. You can have a really thin building, have a thicker building. It is all up to you. That's the best part. All right, now that we have our city, we need to uh, clean up these bottom edges here. So we'll just kind of straighten them all up here, round them to a uh, general area. Um, now, let's, let's put some, some trees. Maybe there are some trees in front here. And to draw these, you just kind of do these bubbly, almost cloud-like shapes, you know. You can do bigger ones, smaller ones, overlap some. Just lots of shrubbery and bumpy, crooked shapes. And it'll look great. Now, do the, the bottom part to that. And we'll make little, little tree trunks down here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just whatever you draw. Totally fine. All right. Now, let's put a park bench over here. Just a little tiny bench, something like that. Just have the legs here. Maybe a, a lamp next to it. Don't forget the rest of those tree trunks over in the back. You can just kind of draw black shapes you need to. Now we're going to put a moon up in the sky, just like that. And then let's put some windows on these buildings. So we'll just put little dots. You don't have to put windows all along all of it, but just kind of scattered throughout. One here, one there, one over here. These. These, later we're going to come back, and when we color these, 
we're gonna make these nice and bright like they're on. And so don't worry about getting all of the windows done, but just kind of make it random here and there. Not too random though. Now we can come back and we can add a few more things on top of the, the, the buildings, maybe antennas with little things or a, or a radio tower or something. Yeah, you can kind of get creative with this part. Smaller uh, building areas. It is totally whatever you can think of that you could make. That is one of the best parts about drawing. All right, well, now we're gonna get some colors and we're gonna color this picture. And this is just how I'm gonna color it. But if you wanna color it different, you totally can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a, a gray color for the buildings. Kind of a darker gray color. And start coloring those in. Now, if you're using paper, make sure to leave a spot for the windows so that when you come back, you can color those yellow, but if you're not, then, then it works just fine. Once you've got that all done, then you can get a dark green color and you can color in the trees so that they 
they can be a green color. You can even get some dark orange colors and yellow colors if you want to add just a little bit of a little bit something different to make the trees all not just the same color, you know. You can kind of put that in there a little bit. We'll make it add a little bit of life to it. And then we'll come back and let's color the sky next. We're going to do, oh, a dark blue color because it's night in the town. Make sure not to color the moon, otherwise it'll be blue. Now we're going to get a dark brown color for the ground by the trees. Make sure to leave your park bench so you can color it a different color. I'm thinking we'll do a lighter brown color for the park bench, just to make it look a little bit different. All right, now, Now we're going to come back and we're going to get a bright yellow color, just a very, very bright yellow. And then we will color in the windows, make some light shining from them just like so. just kind of at random picking windows so it doesn't all look too much the same.
Now we're going to get a light, kind of a, a, a light, almost white blue color. We're going to color around the edge of this, the moon here. So that it looks like it's glowing bright at the night sky. And then you can go along the edges of some of the buildings, make it look like the moon is shining on the on the city. Now, once you've done that, we're almost done. We're just going to put a little bit of that, that color down here on the, on the ground. Get the, the light will shine he, down here. Then, actually going to get a bright yellow, like the window color. We're going to put just a little bit right here by this lamp. You can put just a little bit on and around the park bench where it would look like it would be shining. Kind of like a circle around it. And then um, we can put a little bit of that blue on these trees so it looks like it's reflecting the nice moon light. But don't put too much on the trees, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Then you can get some white 
and you can can get a, a, a white uh, pencil kind of thing or a white crayon and you can make little bit little little dots to represent all the stars you don't have to put a lot of them just as many as you think will look nice Put them all over the sky. Just all over. And when you finish with that, then you'll have a finished picture. I'll see you next time, so stay tuned for more videos.